is Dan Campbell. Um, wanted to show you where to find the uh, the curves. So if you go to any folder, uh, you can click on the folder. Let's say a test folder, and then go to, to Setup Properties, and that'll tell you about how this folder is set up. And you immediately want to go to the Adjust folder. You don't want to get involved in changing anything else but this is the curves and this is what I'm looking for if you click this arrow arrow, arrow <laughs> it will uh, you know jump to a little bit larger so you can minutely change this this is basically a lot like curves in Photoshop and uh, the bottom here is like 0% uh, or the highlight dots and then up here in the top right corner is the shadow tones and um, you can load an existing curve that you have saved somewhere, like this is my curve that I use for simulated process halftone printing. <clears throat> and it takes a second for it to pop in, and then this is my curve adjustment. Um, so you can locate what yours is, and um, for me to help you out, you can take a screenshot of it, and uh, or even a snapshot with your phone, and um, that'll give me an idea of what your curve is looking like. But uh, then uh, when, once you're in here and you make any changes that you might need, you would click Save and then rename it here. Um, you know, Dan's new test curve. Um, and then you put in a date, like uh, whatever the date is, for, what is it, 8th or something? Yeah, four eight twenty four, and then you would just click on save. Um, this was already saved, and I'm still tweaking this one here based on our shop's environment. Every shop is going to be a little bit different, um, it, but not drastically different. This uh, you do want the midtones opened up a little bit, but you see how I have a smooth curve. You don't want to have any hard bumps in it like this because that will, um, you'll see that in a like a straight transition from 100% solid out to a fade to zero. Um, you'll see a little bump in there right at that 78% range. Um, so, but in the highlight ranges, your small dots don't hold up well on the, because it's a 600 DPI printer, so your small dots don't hold up well um, at the one to ten percent range, as it gets into like seven and eight, nine, ten, it starts to creep back up into a little bit of a um, usable dot, both in shape and in um, size. And uh, but it's below that that you want to beef that up a little bit. You see, like I got at my four percent, I've got it set to. I think it was seven percent, uh, and at the like the two percent, it was set up to at the output to be like four percent. Um, and again, I want to keep this bar a little, this ramp a little smooth. I don't want any sharp, abrupt changes because you'll see that in the gradation. Um, but you might need to plot this out and, you know, you, you might tweak this to where you might not as need as much right there. So you might see, see a slight change and test that out. You can output it onto your screen, see how it looks. Um, or even before you, um, it gets a little bit de detailed there, but you could, in print production, um, preview the gradations and see how much of a change is going on there but it's always best to print it out and see what's happening um, so that's where you find the curves and you can let me know what that looks like thanks bye bye